Yes, people, Wagwan, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mario Worldwide. <laughs> it's coming home. Yes, obviously, everybody knows by now it did not come home like a deadbeat dad going to get milk or some bomber clock scratch cards. He's gone. It's gone. It's gone, my little car with some Spanish gal. It's not coming home. Yeah? He told you I'll be back, son. Yeah? And you're waiting at the door all now. He's not there. And it's peak. You're crying now. And you've got PTSD. But it's peak. It's peak. But I can't lie. The final itself was, um, I'm not gonna lie, England, the first 20 minutes, you got the early goal. Um, sure, Berto Carlos, as they call him. But I think after the first 20 minutes, you lot were just camped in your half for the entire game, including extra time. Like, I don't know, the game plan just wasn't there, but look at, look at the two teams, yeah? Just look at the players' names. You can just hear it that these men were gonna win. You got man like Bonucci, Locatelli, Chialini, Donnarumma, Luigi, them thing there, spaghetti. And then who look, look look who England got? Look who England got. Maguire from down the pub, from the job centre. Yeah? You got stones. Yeah? Man like stones, name off a pebble and rock and them thing there. You got man like mountain in the midfield. And then you got Bomber Clark walking Stick Kane up top. One, we press, we, we aggressive, fucking chances, goals, and we fucking should have, man. We, we fucking qualified today, that's it. Yeah. We oh, fucking oh, qualified. Don't, they don't sound like champions. Here go the champions, Maguire. It don't sound like that. You sound like an accounting firm, fam. You got Stones, Maguire, Kane. It don't sound like no proper ballers, bro. You see me? But, yeah, you lot held the L. Is peak. I don't support England, by the way. Okay. I support the man them, but England as a team, I don't support them, and we'll get on to why later. Obviously, <laughs> we know why. But yeah, man, it was peak. Obviously, it went down to penalties, and we all know English man when it comes to penalties are dead. Yeah, if you put a gun to their head and say you have to score a penalty, they're probably gonna, I don't know, do some backflip or something. They might have a seizure because they don't know how. These men, for their clubs, when they take penalties, it's mad. But for England, I don't know. Maybe it's the, the, the Stella 12-4 that's in their system. The Lager. I don't know what it is, but they miss the penalties. So, obviously, after they miss the pens... The racists came out. Dick, Tom and Harry raised their head and said, yes, those black, you know what it is, innit? Those black bastards, bruv. And you know what, yeah, on a serious note, me personally, one of my, one of my brethren, Shaq, we had a conversation before the tournament started. We said, if these men get far, even if they, even if they got at the group stage, yeah, these men are going to get racist abuse. The black players on the team are going to get racist abuse. Because at the end of the day, I know everyone was supporting this team, but at the end of the day, this is England. Yeah? We are, we are, we are in England. We need to remember where we are. Yeah? This is a majority white country. Yeah? These men only abolished slavery less than 250 years ago. And you, then you expect that 250 years is not a long period of time. There's been civili civilizations for thousands of years. You want these men to go from that, only a man on documents, literally, to then supporting black men. The only reason why they supported these players is because these men needed that win. These English men needed that win. Yeah, this is some some of these man. That's all they got. Some of these man. That's all they have. They ain't got 
they ain't got much in their life. Their wife is butters. Their, la their wife is clapped. Her name is Stephanie and she's ugly. When he comes home from the pub, he has to look at her and he's sick to his stomach. But if you turn on England, fucking hell me. I might have something me. That's why when they lost, he couldn't take it. But do you know what? Sancho, he said something that, oh, I think I've had a lot of conversation with black people since the final. We expect this. I can't lie, we, ex we, we expected this. We, we were surprised that people were surprised, which is not good. It's sad to say, but like I said, this is England. All I'm saying is, for these young black players, for the next crop of, of English, English players, hopefully they can see this and maybe they'll decide, you know what, instead of England, I want to play for Nigeria or Jamaica or Congo. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... Because I would rather ride for people that where I'm, I'd rather be where I'm tolerated. No, I'd rather be where I'm celebrated than tolerated. Because those black England players were being tolerated. All right, calm. We'll sing, we'll dance, we'll drink as long as we get the win. But if you don't get the win, Go back to Africa, mate. Yeah? Go back to uh, Lagos. Yeah? That's where is that Lagos? It's in, it's in Somalia, isn't it? These, you, know, you know these people, but... Anyway, it didn't come home. Yeah? It didn't come home. It went to Bomber Club, Super Mario's yard, fam. Yeah? The Pope. It's with the Pope now. It's peak. Yeah? But, hey, all I can say is, big up all the black players in that team. You lot went through a lot. You lot made that team get to the final. And big up Raheem Sterling especially because he has been experiencing ra racism from the media, from the fans since uh, God knows when, from the start of his career. So big up Raheem. He's always stayed strong for the team. So yeah, bruv, it didn't come home, but I'm home in it. I'm in my yard. <laughs> So, thank you everyone. Thank you for watching another Mario Worldwide video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification button and bang! Maniac Beats